it's TR6, it's got the problem with the uh, hood latch, it's uh, not working, the cable's come undone on side or something's happened to it, so we can't get the hood off. There's not even a lot of movement in the hood to push it down, so it's, it's going to be pretty tight. Um, there's two ways I can uh, deal with this, I can either take off the front pipe on the exhaust and pull it off the rest of the exhaust and take the starter off, then I can get my hand up on up through the top and then get hold of the catch with the bar and pull it across and undo it. Um, two problems with that, one is undoing the exhaust and then trying to separate it from the pipes because with TR6s where the exhaust goes through the frame in the centre means that I can't just undo the hangers, the front piece and drop the lot. So I've got to separate the pipes, that's always a bit of an issue, plus the fact I can't undo the battery so when I take the starter off on my wires are going to be uh, live, I've got to be really careful that I don't uh, set too many sparks going or uh, get things too exciting in that way. Anyway, so instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is drill a hole underneath uh, by the uh, glove box. I'm going to drill a hole up, shove a bar up, pull it across and then hopefully I can fill my way in to get the catch, pull it and then we'll be uh, able to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the seat out. Now, you'll notice I took the roof back as well before I uh, started filming this. So I'm just going to take the two seats out. There's only a couple of bolts on them, so it's not a big deal. Now I can get underneath the, uh, the parts which have a lot easier now the seats out. It's only two bolts, makes life a bit easier. Um, what I did, I went outside, I have another TR6 waiting to be repaired outside. I flipped up the hood and I measured where I would want the holes from marks on, side, on the inside of the uh, firewall. So I know where to drill the hole inside, I know the measurements. I'll put all them in the video later. But what I'm going to do now is get underneath, get my head under there and drill a hole up through the top and then make me a bit of a... Uh, uh, my lever to get up there and pull the, the catch, that's the plan anyway. So uh, anyway, that's what I've got to do with. The only thing that's uncomfortable is a bloody seat frame. So I'm going to put a bit of something in there because I'm delicate, I don't want to work myself. So uh, I'm going to put a bit of stuff in, I'm going to drill the hole, do all that stuff now. What I'm going to do now is get underneath the, uh, the in the footwell here. Um, check my measurements and mark my spot where I'm going to do my drilling. So I've marked my spot, now I'm going to get my drill, go through with a little uh, eighth drill first and then progress my way up to uh, half an inch. Right, I'm down to the last hole now, I'm on my half inch I've just put in, so i just got to drill this and then uh, we'll be able to make the bar. Well, 
I managed to get through. You can tell by the amount of buffing and puffing, it's not exactly a, a cheerio type job. It's a bit, uh, a bit awkward, but anyway, I got the hole through. So now I've got to make the uh, the bar to go up on the inside and catch the uh, catch the catch and uh, shove it across. So that needs to be a lay, a like eight and a half, nine inches long going up inside just to reach it and then I've got to make a lid to come off it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Right, I have my bar. Uh, I've just made it. It's eight and a half inches along here and I've put a curve in it. So I'm going to get on the shove out of the hole and fiddle around a bit, see if I can pop the out. That's the plan. <sighs> Pop, so I figured that was it. So yeah, hood's open. Now to sum up, this on the bar is eight and a half inches on the end of the bar. Then the, I put a slight curve in it, an angle in it. Uh, it's probably about 30 degrees maybe. I put the eight and a half inches goes all the way inside the car. The hole actually goes up to here when I put it in. Um, I put a tape on it, I put an arrow on it to remind me which end is eight and a half. So I shove it all the way up and I just got to keep it vertical. And then I just pull on it and it will release the hood. So the hole is directly underneath this piece. The measurements are four and a half inches back from the firewall and five and a half inches from this corner on the firewall in the footwell. So you go five and a half this way. Four and a half that way. Drill the hole in there, you'll be right underneath the bar. Shove that up, point, you're good to go. If you've got any other problems and it will open, if somebody slammed the hood or the pin has been misaligned through constant slamming or somebody bashed it or somebody adjusted it and didn't do a very good job, if the pin's caught underneath, you may need somebody on the top to push it. Um, that's why I was a bit concerned with this hood, there was no give in it. Um, if that's the case, you might end up taking the starter and the exhaust off to get underneath it and uh, get a bit more serious with it. But hopefully that isn't the case. Nine, nine times out of ten, you can pull it, it'll open. So, um, as I say, I've done it nine or ten times now, so it's not, uh, it's not a big deal for me. Okay, so that's how you do it. Just measure everything properly underneath. Okay, that's it. Oh, I forgot to mention what actually happened was the uh, clip came off the, the mountain here, that's all. That's the only thing that happened. So obviously I'll put that back on and fasten it on a bit more securely so it doesn't happen again. But that was all that happened. The clip came off and I had to go through all this uh, problem to uh, open the hood. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel as we appreciate the support and it does encourage us to make more videos.